and welcome back to my channel. It's unbelievable how quickly this year is coming to an end. Time truly flies by. To conclude the year, I thought I'd skip through time and create a special birthday vlog. That's right, we recently celebrated Jason's birthday so I wanted to dedicate this video to him. This year has been a blessing with Jason by my side and I hope that the next one will be even more of a blessing when we tie the knot. For Jason's birthday, there are a couple of things I need to prepare and I want to take you all on that journey with me. I need to go shopping and buy a few things. 1. A birthday card for him. 2. His gift which will include socks, shorts, and an iPhone 15 Pro Max. I plan to surprise him by making breakfast in bed and so I'll be preparing a Korean seaweed soup which is a classic dish for every Korean. This tradition of eating seaweed soup on a birthday stems from the Korea's history of honoring mothers who brought people into the world with love and sacrifice. Additionally, I'll be making his birthday cake with a twist. Using Korean hot dog, which is a Korean pancake dessert, and adding some fruits and matcha for a unique touch. Jason will be tied up with work on his actual birthday, and he's made dinner reservation in the evening. So, my only shot to celebrate with him is in the morning with breakfast in bed. The day before his birthday, I also booked a water painting event at the Bunny Cafe. Okay, so I'm outside right now and as you can see, the weather isn't very good today. I realize I left my umbrella so I'm hoping that it will not rain today. I'm gonna make this quick. I just finished shopping. <laughs> Apparently this is uh, quite popular corn tempura Do you need me to stand still? You gotta hurry up. Oh my god, you know what I look like? E.T. I look like E.T. <laughs> this is you. Hey, that's good. Hey, yours is good too. It's so perfect. Look at the little bunny tail. That's hilarious. Yeah. 
there's a hole. <laughs> Wait, what happened to your eye? It was going so well. I know, it bled in. Wait, is there one to fix it? Did you save it? I kinda saved it. It looks like, um, Aries. Do you want to put the black one? Oh, it's scary when I touch it. <sighs> as soon as I returned, I wrapped his gift in secret. Wrapping his gift was a bit of a challenge though, because the tape didn't stick too well. For his birthday, he's also getting the, the newest iPhone. So, when I was shopping, I found these cute frames. And then I thought about like his artwork. How about like I cut it and just like kind of frame it like this? I think he'll like it. What do you think? Ta da! So, I did the first one. Artwork and I'm going to put it back in this plastic. Okay. After that, I wrote a sincere birthday card letter for him. Then I started prepping some side dishes that would complement his Korean seaweed soup tomorrow. Well then, it's time for me to hit the hay. Good night, Coco. See you in a few hours. I think I have too many things to think about, and my brain isn't ready to sleep. By the way, while Jason was asleep, I took the balloons and decorations from under the bed and taped them to the wall. It was honestly a challenge to be super quiet throughout the entire process, but fingers crossed that he didn't wake up and see anything. I had a restless night and suddenly it was already 6 a.m. I decided to hang out in the living room with Coco. Hi Coco, how was your night? I bet it was wild. 
considering rabbits are usually up during that time. Now it's time to prepare Jason's breakfast. When I opened the package, I realized that I bought the wrong seaweed. Oh my god! They sold me dried kelp and labeled it with the wrong Korean word. I should sue TNT for this. I messaged my mother when I found out about this to see what my options were. And I ended up making it even if it didn't turn out the way I was expecting it to. Sure, here's happy birthday song for special day Jen. Happy birthday to you Jen on YouTube music. I explained to him what happened with the seaweed soup. He said it tasted fine. According to Jason, the kelp made the soup taste more Japanese than Korean. While Jason finishes up his breakfast, I'm preparing the Korean hotto, also known as his birthday cake. This Korean dessert tastes best when it's fresh and hot, so I didn't want to make it too early. I've added matcha powder and an additional sunflower seed into the mix to enhance its flavor. Then I'll add the delicious and sweet ingredients in the middle of the dough. Wrap it and mold it into a ball. The batter is super sticky, so I've oiled the plate and my hand beforehand. Ta-da! After assembling my hot dog, I've added some fruits and a candle. Not bad, huh? Oh, you cut it! restaurant was like Kisanto? What's it called? Kisasanto. It's a Japanese Italian
a haiku for? They do, I guess. Team memorabilia. I'll take it. I'll take it home. Oh, that's the bill. Yeah. Oh, I thought this was like a birthday card. Wait, give me this. I'll take the card home. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Thank you.